creating the class notebook. I'm going to create a blank class notebook and show you how to share it. So I'm here at the college portal and I can simply click on Office 365. You can type in office.com and go directly there or you can go to the portal and click in here. Now that's going to come and sign in, ask me to authenticate and we go through the process of signing in. Once I'm in here, all these little programs are here. They're also available anytime you click on up here. I've got them all here. What I'm specifically looking for is Class Notebook. So this is the one that the kids will share. I'm going to make it blank and then I'll show you how to move things on in another video. So I come in here, the first thing to look at is this Create a Class Notebook. When you click on that, same thing again. 2017, year 09. Oh, can help with a spell. So we come into here, the first thing it's asking us is add the name. So we have a name convention, 17, 17 for 2017, year 09. This is going to be the student and my class is class number 3. How do I know that? That's on my timetable. It's not overly critical at the moment, but we can just set it up. And this is the class three one. So straight away, once again, I'll see 2017 09. So I know it's my year nine class. It is class number three, computer studies. So therefore, if some of that's covered up or not showing, I know which one it is. Choose next. Right now, it's saying this is what it's been set up for you collaboration space. That's a space where the students can write and you can write. You can add things, they can change things. A content library, that's a place where you can put stuff. Kids can look at it, they could copy things off there, but they can never change the original part. And the student notebook is the powerful part. That's where students are in control, they can write, they can do anything, but you also have it. It's shared with you and the student. The students can't see each other, they can only see their own, but you can see each student. Do I want to give another teacher permission? This is going to be one class. We're sharing a notebook that we're getting our stuff out of, this is just the class I teach, so there's no need for another teacher to be involved here unless you're one of those extremely special cases where there's two teachers in one classroom and teaching the same thing throughout the week. So I'm going to leave that blank. Now we want to add the students. I have another part of the video which shows you how from quickly from sector. We can add those in very simply. So when I add my students, right now, the quick and easiest way, so I've said class number four, I'm going to have a look at my students in here and I'm simply going to click on the email the students click here highlight them all and copy them delete that back in here the magic here is because these are all our students in our system it takes a few minutes a few seconds it's going through finding all the students so they're all now found. I've got a little blue cross. I could remove them if I didn't want them. But it's found all. At this stage, I only want class notes and handouts to be there. I could add other sections if I want. But I don't. Show me what it looks like here. With the on one student I added. Student's notebook will look like this. And we're done. Now before we go any further, we want to do a little bit of configuration. So I can close that tab down, come back to Office, come back into my OneNote. Unfortunately this isn't available in the same thing. I want to manage a notebook. 
Okay, so here we have the one I've just created. What we want to do is we want to click on Enable the Teacher Only Group and lock the collaboration. We lock that at the moment, so we can unlock it when students, when we already have students doing some collaboration. With that all done, while I'm still on the web, I'm going to click on Open in OneNote. This will open the online version. So I can make sure it all works. It's a little bit different on the web. I can actually use any computer I want. Remember, I've only got one student in here. The teacher only section. So it's all set up. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to edit in OneNote. Yes, I do want to switch apps. Comes with a little prompt there. We say that's okay. Okay, the window has opened. We can see here this happened to open up on the teacher only section. If I click on the little up arrow here, at the moment you can see, as I said, it's a blank. There is absolutely nothing in here. That's it. Collaboration space, which is closed, so students can get there anyway. The content library just has a standard placeholder. You can change that. And one student is loaded in here and here's the two sections that we made for them. So that is it. That is simply how we set that up and that's good to go.